Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of The Brett Martin Show. As usual, we got a fantastic lineup for you today. We have stand-up comedy and an interview with the one, the only, Ron Vaudry. We learn if I am smart or not. And also, we have Jake, the world's best one-man talk show band. But please welcome your host, Mr. Brett Martin. Brett. Yeah, all right. Woo. Yeah. Here we are. It's good to be back. Hello. Hey, it's Sam, you're back. I'm back. Jake, Sam's back. He's back. He's me. He's back. It's uh, it's good to, uh, good to see you all again, uh, Sam. Uh, you're, you're alive and well. I, you know, I'm doing okay. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. Just okay. Uh, you know, I, I hate that fucking shit. You know, Which, whenever I talk to my dad, I'm like, "Hey, dad, how are you?" He's like, oh, I'm doing great. How are you doing, Sam? And I'm like, "I'm okay." He's like, "Just okay?" It's like, yeah, I'm doing just okay. I'm allowed to be better than shit. You know what I mean? I don't always have to be fucking great. Life can go along at this mediocre level, and that should be sufficient. Have you ever been great, though? No, never. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, how are you doing, Jake? I'm doing great. <laughs> <laughs> See? It's not that hard. Uh, you're you're well-dressed. you got a tie on, and you got pants and everything. you got shoes. Sam, you look okay. Thank uh, you. It's going to be we got a great show tonight. we got uh, Ron Voters going to be here. Oh, the man, the myth, the legend. And uh, just like every show, we got some jokes. Do you, you want to do some jokes? I love jokes. Jake, are you jokes? Yes. Let's do some fucking jokes. All right. A 29-year-old English man left his girlfriend the day she gave birth uh, to the couple's child in order to be with the woman's mother. Oh, very good. Yeah, no, not great. That's actually not a good move. That's uh, actually it's a very bad okay, move. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, but the, the man has since apologized, uh, saying he simply wasn't ready for fatherhood. Uh, but he and his new wife are thrilled to be grandparents. <laughs> So it's a feel-good story. It really is a feel-good story. Yeah, like no, it's, uh, yeah. it's nice. Absolutely. It's, uh, have you ever ran away with your uh, uh, girlfriend's mother? I don't run. <laughs> and it would be grandmother. Uh, this is a uh, story. This has happened quite a bit, but uh, uh, this uh, store, a healing crystal store. Do you ever a buy A healing it? crystal store? Yeah. Or a store that sells healing crystals? Sam, they're healing crystals. Okay. So obviously you don't know about them. You don't have any. That no. explains your haggard disposition. But if you bought some healing crystals, you would no longer just be okay. You would be fantastic. All right. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, the store uh, in Windsor, Ontario, uh, is under fire, though, uh, for mm -hmm. banning people who have been uh, vaccinated against COVID-19 wow. from entering uh, premises. Yeah, apparently she's trying to stop it is what she's trying to do. Mm -hmm. uh, when asked comment, uh, Bill Gates said, nah, nuts, how am I going to kill everyone now? <laughs> kill them with Windows updates. That's, uh, you know, because that's the whole point of this thing. Bill Gates wants to kill us all, right? Son of a bitch. Yeah. You know, I uh, religiously and faithfully bought his product. Uh, I have a, a, an Xbox, and the guy's trying to murder me. You're going to die soon. This is a weird story. I don't know if uh, something's going on in Britain. That is Absolutely. not like the, the the Brexit. They've been cut off from uh, I don't know common sense. The European Super League. European Super Teacher. This guy. Ooh. He did. He did something. Uh, English school teacher Richard Glenn from prestigious British private school Longwards Towers was fired after getting drunk and taking students to a strip club during a school trip to Costa Rica last month. Okay. Okay. A little bit. Dad, do you ever have a teacher take you to the strip club? Um. Uh. Anyways, in other news, uh, English school teacher Richard Glenn was named Teacher of the Year Emeritus by the <laughs> Longridge Towers Male Student Society. <laughs> He's an award winner. You know, what a thing, man. You know, we have a, a great show. We do. Uh, Sam's back. Jake's wearing a tie. Uh, uh, the cameraman, uh, David, is here. Uh, we got it all. Let's sit down with something. Those are some pretty good jokes. You know, they never fail to make me uh, think. They, but what do you think about them? Exactly. Uh, so it's, it's good to see you again. Uh, good to see you. You weren't here at the, the last show. I was not, no. Uh, but, uh, was that great, Jake? Yeah, it went well. <laughs> it does. I, I've seen the video. It looks fantastic. Yeah, remember the smiles, all our faces. Absolutely. And the, the lack of police showing up. It was a really good time, but it's good to have you back. Thank you. Uh, what have you been doing in the time since I last saw you? You may have seen it in the news. Are you that flat earth guy? Well, I mean, I don't want to brag or anything, but I have perfect proof that the earth is flat. Well, how's that? Well, just look. Everything you see, you look outside, it's flat. You it, don't see a curve of anything. So, how, like, You know what? Uh, you are a smart man. I am a smart man. Thank you. With our you want to know what my IQ is? I did an IQ test. Uh, I'll tell you. You want to know what I got? 
uh, uh, positive? Uh, no, this one I took it online. Um, <laughs> oh man, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Ninety six. That's a plus. Yeah. Well, uh, that you know, this one's gonna be a little more scientific. Cause here's the thing, uh, Alex who did a great job filling for you. Very smart guy. Very and, smart. Very well read. He can read. That's the thing. So uh, we thought, well, let's make sure that uh, Sam. I mean, we're probably uh, gonna, gonna keep you, but let, let's make sure I know, that. I'm auditioning. Yeah, and, and what better way than to get an exact uh, score? So let's give Sam an, okay. uh, an IQ test. Are you ready for an IQ test for Sam? Uh, there it is. First off, what's your middle name? Uh, James. What year were you born? 1985. Where do you keep your wallet during the show? In my bag. This is uh, good to know. Let's get the test started now. <laughs> uh, who let the dogs out? Woof, woof. No, it's who, 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 who. Damn it. Close. Uh, over one, but you know what? Uh, there's still lots to go. Uh, what do Justin Trudeau and Ted Danson have in common? Ooh, a great sense of humor. Uh, no, the answer we're looking for, blackface controversies is the correct answer. Oh, for well, 2. What is the camera guy's name? Brian. Jake, are, is that, because that doesn't sound right. Is it like Darren or something? Jake. Bart? <laughs> hey, hey, guy, what's your name? Yeah, uh, Brian it is. Yes. I don't Come we'll, on, give me a one for that one, baby. Look. We'll go with Brian, but okay. we're pretty sure it's What's Barry. My score? Uh, one for three, which is uh, not 96%, but it's early. 25% so far. <laughs> I'm 25% smart. Uh, potassium makes up what percentage of the earth? Six. 2.4%. Uh, a pair of binoculars and a camouflage hat cost $1.10 combined. Okay. The hat costs $1 more than the binoculars. Mm -hmm. How much do the binoculars cost? Three years in uh, minimum security prison, but 10 cents. The answer is 5 cents. Oh, yeah, that's right. 96, eh? Name the dog with this unique bark. Hoop, 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 hoop. Oh, my first girlfriend. Incorrect. It's Porkchop, <laughs> my buddy Dale's dog. <laughs> oh, man, I love yeah. Porkchop. Yeah, he's a cool yeah, guy. Yeah. You got that wrong. Uh, Uncle Joey or Uncle Jesse? Ooh, Uncle Eric. <laughs> Kimmy Gibbler. <laughs> If FP equals 10 and HX equals 16, what does DS equal? No, that, I, don't, I don't get it. It's not, we don't know. I thought you went to university, Sam. I did have a stats degree, but yeah. Well, uh, the answer is 15. Well, sometimes I, I can't get it right. Okay, okay. Well, if, you're, if you know stats, you, you'll know this one. What number uh, have I written down? Forty-two. The answer is sixteen point three eight. Well, you can't win them all, I guess. You can't win any of them so far. Okay. How badly did the deep state rig the election against Trump? Oh God, I don't. Oh man, this is not a good question for me. Well, so far none of them are saying. No, <laughs> you know. Okay. How how much did the deep state rig the election against Trump? Zero percent. <laughs> Incorrect. The answer is Bigly. Bigly. Oh, man. Uh, what was the best Rocky movie? Four. You got that right. Fucking it right. Rocky Four. Living Damn in right America, man. Rocky Four. Which percentage of Jay-Z's problems are bitches? None. Correct. You're on a hot streak right now. No, I'm, I'm on it. <laughs> Why do you talk about your cousin so much? I don't. That's yeah. not true. Move on, please. Finally, and this is a, a probably very appropriate question for you. Uh, it takes five priests... Five minutes to cover up five sex scandals. Okay. How long would it take for 100 priests to cover up 100 sex scandals? Five minutes. That's fucking correct. That's five minutes. Sam, uh, you're actually an idiot. Uh, you Finally, did, I won. Because uh, this you, is the idiot quotient test, right? Well, if that's the case, you are the biggest genius in the room. Good job, Sam. Thank you. Oh, my God, I need to wash my hand. Oh, uh, we have a great show tonight. We do. Uh, you might even be able to understand it. Who's coming up? Who's our Who's our guest today? Our I guest, already know who it is. It is oh. uh, a treat. He's a very funny man. He uh, a legend of Canadian comedy. He tra travels around the world. His album is currently available on Amazon and anywhere that you listen to things. Please welcome the hilarious Ron Vaudry. Uh, Ron, it's good to have you on the show. Uh, you're actually our, uh, our one of our first, I think, second time uh, guests. We had you uh, on the show when we were a live show in front of an audience. 
Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Do, do you uh, remember? Uh, I'm hoping this is better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> audiences were fun, uh, but now you know it's fun to perform to plants. Why are you even here? Nobody talks to you. Fair. All right. <laughs> but he thinks he thinks that we are, but we're, he doesn't realize yet that's not the case. Brick mortar, brick mortar, gyp rock, paint, hang picture, door, what door? He's gone. I like All the right, way he, he, he wasn't here last show, and I'll tell you, what a show it was. I didn't like him then either. <laughs> I don't like him now. I, I'm surprised your coattails reach around behind me all the way to him. It's, just oh, just ride the talent mule. Just ride the talent mule. You'll be fine. <laughs> I'm definitely <laughs> be calling ass several times. Uh, so, Ron, let's tell the audience uh, a little about you. Like, uh, you've been doing comedy for uh, several months, correct? Uh, not lately. <laughs> <laughs> when did you Actually, start Actually, in fact, I haven't been doing comedy for several months. No, uh, why? Uh, it's closed. <laughs> Uh, Ron, uh, I, I remember, like, I've been doing comedy for about 20 years. I remember when La I first saw laughter you. Laughter spreads the virus more, they say. Not cheering in a sports bar, screaming at a bad play, but laughter spreads Well, the then virus. why don't they let Sam perform? Because there's no laughter when he's on. <laughs> there's cheering when I get off. If you're like, finally. True, that could be a, it was a well, bad play. a standing play. ovation. You're not allowed to stand without your mask, but still. If finally he's not yeah, sweating over me, off. he got off. I usually sit. I've, I like why it. am I talking to you even? Oh, man. You're We're not even not... part. Anyway. <laughs> How long have you been doing stand-up for, Ron? When did you start? Uh, well, there's two answers. There's the artsy one where uh, I was born. I looked around. I said, you can't be serious. And then there's the fashionable one where I started Labor Day, September 1st, uh, 1979. 70, wow. That's right when I was born. It's crazy. You remember I did the day? 12 shows that day. I remember it. <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was Labor Day weekend. They were having a Jerry Lewis joke from noon to midnight, all proceeds were going to be driven down to Plattsburgh, New York, and donated to Jerry's cause. Mm -hmm. And I auditioned on a Friday. The show was Sunday. They asked me to go on, and like a blue-collar kid that I am, showed up at noon and uh, ended up doing one show comedy. every hour for 12 hours. That's wow. I would do stand-up, and then we'd do improv till those fuckers left. Then I'd do stand-up again and more improv after in the next hour. And by the end of the night, I rewrote uh, an entirely new set. So you're hooked on comedy from day one, literally. Oh, before that. Yeah. Uh, where's been your favorite place to perform uh, so far? Uh, Edinburgh, Scotland. Why is that? Because ah. they're the coolest people. Yeah? Is it, is it because of their... They are who they are. There's no pretense about them, and they're the only ones who can keep up drinking with a Canadian. <laughs> so, what's not to love? Yeah, they're, they're blatant alcoholism. Hey, there's sure. a Scotch I've never heard of. Let's try that. And then they fight. Uh, no, uh, surprisingly little. <laughs> Didn't I hear a story that you got on a fight in the tube in London or something? What? Tubing? No, I never got in a fight in the tube. Uh, I thought I heard something about you. Uh, no, me and Tom Stade uh, got into a fight in Bilston. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Stade, a great Canadian comedian and a uh, fight adversary of Ron that, that's, outside, that's just outside of Wolverhampton, which is just outside of Birmingham in the Midlands. So why did you get into so. a fight? Because we ordered one and it showed up. No, Fair enough. Because uh, it was some uh, local bullies, you know, don't like uh, foreigners. Yeah. Um, Bilson's one of those towns where you'll go into a pub and they'll go, no dogs and no travelers. Now, travelers is the uh, code word for uh, gypsies. Yeah. And what's gypsies the code word for? Travelers. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so it's that kind of uh, neighborhood. And me and Tom Stay were uh, coming back from the pub. Uh, we, uh, we went to play the dogs for a while at... Uh, a betting shop. He took me to dog betting too. That was yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, he, he he's a big fan of it, and uh, so we we yeah a dollar, two dollars a race. You know, so I kill some time while uh, Trudy was shopping, and then we went to meet her at uh, Weatherspoons, have a bite to eat, and I had two pints of beer. He had three pints, but he left half of the third one there. So nobody's intoxicated. You have a hell of a memory, Ron. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, uh, it gets banged into your head when you're attacked. And uh, we went to the local chip shop because I promised the kids Uncle Ron's going to get some fish and chips for dinner. So the kids were all excited, and Trudy went to get the kids. And Tom Do you know these kids, me. or are these just random kids? Oh, no. <laughs> no, extra kids. I'm going to pick them up out the street, and Uncle Ron's going to give you some french fries in the back of that van <laughs> beside the box of puppies. And, yeah, so I'm, we're getting chips, and Tom's got to have a piss. Hey, man, you got a toilet? They're outside. Oh, okay. So there's no public toilet in the chip shop. So Tom really has to pee. So he goes out, he looks around, there's nobody around, he's standing between two cars, he's peeing, which people do all the fucking time. Very in Midlands. They'll just piss off the curb of the street if they got to piss. Yeah. They don't give a shit. 
So he's doing that, and some guy drives by in a Range Rover. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? There's children in this neighborhood. There's no children around here. Yeah, to give them chips. Yeah. <laughs> We're offering candy. We know what the kid's like. And uh, well, Tom's just, I hear barking going on outside. I hear a guy yelling, and I stick my head out the door, and the guy's coming at Tom, and Tom's backing up because he's more passive than fucking Buddha. And he's going, hey, man, I'm just taking a piss. No, there's no kids around here. And I walk in. I go, what's going on? And the guy stops and goes, who are you? I went, who am I? Who the fuck are you? What's going on, Tom? So he gets in his car, runs home, gets his dad. I didn't know it was his dad at the time. <laughs> Threw him the kids. Yeah, yeah. Well, the kids are gay. Can't hear them. But the guy comes out with a big fucking metal bar, tries to crack me in the skull with it. So I throw myself into his chest to avoid the radius of the the, the swing, it's a very exciting part of the fight. I shinned him away, he backed off, I got up, and then I just locked him. Locked him on his eyes, rolled back, he dropped the, the weapon. And I turned around, Tom already took a hit in the head with a uh, lug nut bar. So I just looked at Tom, I went, look out, Tom, and I put one under Tom's chin into the guy's cheekbone. Turned to the other guy, went, stop this right now, because somebody's going to get seriously fucking hurt here. Turns out that's his dad that's unconscious on the, <laughs> on the streets that I just knocked out. And... Uh, he jumps in his car and fucks off. To get his grandpa. Leaves his dad there <laughs> on the pavement. <laughs> I got a little bruise on the side of here, and my lip is a little swollen because I took the handle in the face. Police cars pull up from every direction. And then all of a sudden, I'm in, uh, I'm in lockup till 3 in the morning. <laughs> because uh, how could uh, two Canadian guys carrying a purse beat up our two local thugs. There's something wrong here. <laughs> they couldn't figure it out. Anyways, Roger, it's good to have you on the show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did I, right. did I use up the whole show with one fight story? It's not that, even over yet. You should see how they tried hour. to screw us we in did court. We hour talking about... This is basically turned into a UFC show. This is going to be my Edinburgh Fringe show. I'm just going to talk about <laughs> this arrest. Stories of the Midlands? Uh, so to yeah, question so They two, always laugh at the Midlands. It's easy, it easy fodder. So would you consider that your career highlight or low light? Right now? No, <laughs> <laughs> pretty low right now. <laughs> hey, the, I'm talking to you on fucking camera. How low can you get? You could be talking to Sam. No, no, I'm not. Never going to go that low. <laughs> no, no, there, there, there's bottoming out, and then I'm sorry, Sam. That's okay. You are below bottom. I am. Uh, so, how much uh, in the time that you've been doing stand up ha has it changed? Changed? Well, it goes in waves. You know, it's like uh, right now it's really popular over there in uh, the UK. And starting to grow over here, it's like they want to hear about your personal life. Mm. The audience wants to relate to you. And you, when you fell down, they want, oh, I remember when I fell down. I used to joke with Tom State over there that it's just a matter of time before you're going out there telling them about the time you shit your pants. Oh, I shit my pants too. How vulnerable can you get? It's ridiculous. Then Jim Jeffries in his new album did a bit about how he shit his pants. I went, there, they've done it. They're there. <laughs> we've all done it, and we can all relate. Now, uh, usually with our, our stand-up guests, they uh, come in and they do stand-up. Stop talking to me. It doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> usually our guests do stand-up. Uh, you decided uh, to not uh, do it, and we can't really say no to someone with your uh, tenure. I, and I don't Zoom. <laughs> have you ever done a Zoom show? No, and I won't. It's, uh, uh, I'll tell you if, you, if you like talking your cell phone in the corner and pretending that is a... That somebody's audience. paying attention. Yeah, yeah, when you can see them, on, they don't turn on their... their, their uh, microphone so you can't hear if they're laughing you can see them getting up and going to the bathroom coming back with something just ignoring it yeah, there's you're, an empty ta couch you're talking to 12 people who are friends or whoever's doing the zoom show so usually like i said we have them uh, do comedy but instead of that we're going to show a clip of ron from the comedy store in uh, london what year was this shot in well then oh this is uh this back in 2004 or 5 i think it was my audition tape wow. here's a ron vaudry uh, live from the comedy store uh check it out i think the most spectacular funeral i've ever seen on tv the most widely seen funeral of all time had to be for Princess Diana, was it not, folks? Yeah, how many other funerals had a number one hit soundtrack attached to them? Holy <laughs> fuck. That puts you way ahead of the curve there, doesn't it? <laughs> Mother Teresa, not even a hymn. Six weeks on the charts for her. I'm impressed. Still too soon? <laughs> Charles is over it. We can move on. She's a lovely lady. It was the event that was weird, the entire event. And it was spectacular, too. Hundreds of thousands of people lined up along the parade route. A nice parade, by the way, one floating a dead chick. Last time I bring the kids to a parade in London. 
They never have balloons and candy floss. What the fuck is this? I don't know. It said parade. Stop crying. We'll go back to the hotel. They're different here. They're different. I'm sure everyone had their little picture postcard moment of it as well. For a lot of people, it was like seeing the entire royal family lined up in front of the gates of Buckingham Palace, closed behind them. What a lovely picture, huh? Tell me that's not an IRA wet dream happening there, though, somewhere. <laughs> Half of Ireland's going, fuck! <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> Trade every potato for one grenade, all right. All I know is people were very emotional. You can tell how emotional they were, too. Every time the camera went along the parade route, they were right there in the lens telling the entire world what was on their mind, weren't they? It was those fucking paparazzi bastards that killed her. They wouldn't give her a moment's peace, a second's privacy. Is that the casket? <laughs> Who the fuck brings a camera to a funeral? Yeah, set them up for one more. Let's go grab some. Not even the Irish do that. And it wasn't the paparazzi that killed her either. Do a little Scotland Yard, folks. Who had the most to gain from her death, huh? It's the fucking florist behind the whole thing. Those are the paparazzi. <laughs> Keep an eye on those florists and take care of yourself. Good night. That was very funny. Uh, so, so now, uh, all these years later, you're living in Vancouver. Why, why here of, uh, everywhere? Winters. <laughs> yeah, they are Winters. I'm from Montreal. I'm tired of the snow. I lived in Britain for 12 years. And this is the exact same winter weather they have, gray and drizzly. But they're gray and drizzly all year. You had just have your winters that are gray, and I'd rather carry an umbrella than a shovel. So that, and there's a great comedy scene here. If you weren't a comedian, what would you be doing? If I wasn't a comedian? I can't imagine. Probably be uh, doing something self-employed, probably driving. Driving, I yeah. Like driving. I like well, driving. I drove for the Montreal Star for my uh, first I'm an itch. The Montreal Star, like a newspaper? Newspaper, yeah. It's go, gone I now. Go it exist. Oh, yeah. It left in 79. Uh, so you have an album that's just been released called yes. uh, Talking on Thin Ice. Oh, that's why I'm here. Yeah, I, I remember <laughs> that. <laughs> that's, yes, of course. Uh, it's uh, produced by 800-pound Gorilla. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, they're, they've got it now. It's been uh, released. It's on uh, all the major... Uh, Platforms like Spotify, it's on uh, Ask Jeeves, uh, Apple Tunes, it's on uh, Prime, it's on TikTok. It's, uh, <laughs> can you put albums on TikTok? <laughs> yeah, apparently you can. You can download clips on TikTok. Do you have? Do you have? Uh, are you on the internet? Do you have any internet things? Do I have any internet things? Of course I do, but I can't tell you here. Yeah, I have uh, Ron uh, Dash Votary dot com. Oh, yeah, you got and all the information on my album is on the media page. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, check out my uh, website. I'm on Twitter. Mm -hmm. I got some funny things on Twitter. <laughs> I don't think you do, basically. <laughs> my, my, my first tweet on tw Twitter is like, uh, I haven't been paying attention. Have they given Peace a chance yet? <laughs> I'm new to this. Uh, Ron, it's always great to see you. Uh, do, do you have any? Facebook. Uh, I'm on Facebook. Did I mention I'm on Facebook? No, I don't think it is. <laughs> I'm really lonely. You can call Facebook, me at Rod. 647. <laughs> You can give your phone number. I need to see people. He's one of the best of the business. Uh, thank you, Ron Vody, for being here. Yeah. Uh, Thanks for having me. Uh, next time. I yeah. know, I know. We're trying our best, but he knows where we were shoot this thing. So try not to get in a fight on the way out. Uh, well, the camera guy, I don't like the way he's looking at me right now. <laughs> Could be a problem. Holy, I, yeah, he's a... I got to walk right past him. He's got his hands in his pockets now, but he, he's a big fella. He could just drop on you. He, well, maybe he'll be in look, the, look at him behind the mask. Look at him behind the mask. Ladies and gentlemen, Ron Bowden. Uh, check out his uh, album on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. That was something else. Uh, was, uh, I learned a lot about Ron. Yeah, I, uh, you know, he's still talking about the fight out there. It was, uh, it was, a, it was a great album. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't fuck with Ron. No, I really. know. He would murder us both in a heartbeat. Yeah. And then the story would go on longer than his jail sentence. <laughs> Uh, but we learn a lot. You learn a lot in the IQ test, and we're going to continue to learn because uh, you know what? The world is a wild and crazy place. It's you know, it's really uh, there's always so much happening in the world. It's time for celebrity gossip with Robert Pan. This is celebrity news with your host Robert Pan. Yeah!
here to deliver some of the craziest celebrity news around. Pew pew pew. Here's our first story. YouTuber and professional boxer Logan Paul got mugged last night. Apparently, he was jogging for a viral training montage, which、uh, did not work. That did not work at all. And a few months ago, Jake Paul decided to punch meat in a meat packaging plant. He got salmonella and was bedridden for three months. This just to show you, Rocky training montages don't actually work. Uh, good luck, Paul brothers. In other news, Chief Public Officer Teresa Lam made history last night when she became the first Asian mom who doesn't want their kid to be a doctor. When questioned on this, Teresa said, "Quote." It's a shit job. No one should suffer through this. People ask me whether I can have sex in a in a glory hole for God's sake. Hang in there, Teresa. We're rooting for you. Although I do appreciate how um how how this pandemic is changing the Asian stereotype. So good good on the pandemic for、uh, opening Asian moms' eyes towards other career choices. You know, in sports news, Grandmaster Hikaru Nakamura. Blundered a queen last night in his daily Twitch stream. Although he won the game, people are questioning whether Hikaru can maintain his grandmaster career. I know nobody give a fuck about this, but like I, I, I care. Okay, I watch chess. It's a pandemic. People watch weird things. People watch deer get skinned. I watch chess. Okay, it was it was crazy, dude. He he didn't see the G7 pawn. How the hell do you not see the G7 pawn, Hikaru? Fuck you! In related news, Michael Bay just got fired from his first Bollywood film. Apparently, the producer said his stunts were too realistic and too boring for an Indian audience. Michael Bay promptly returned to America, where he began filming of his next production of Transformers: Transformers Six: Rise of the Revengeans, starring Mark Wahlberg and debuting her her first film. Asa Akira in a leading role. Good luck, Michael. I'm pretty sure the next film is gonna be Iron Rod Hot, whatever that whatever that means. In tech news, Bill Gates decided to buy Tinder and shut that shit down. Apparently, Bill Gates got a match on Tinder, but it was hidden under a paywall, so he couldn't see what the match was. But then after he paid the paywall, it turned out the match was a fucking bot. So Bill Gates got pissed. And they decided to buy Tinder, fire all his employees, and take a baseball bat to all the servers. And、uh, he's gonna—he's on a rampage now, destroying dating websites. Good luck, okay, Cupid. Good luck, Bumble. I hope you fly away, okay. And you shouldn't screw over lonely people like that. Fuck you. This has been Celebrity News with Robert Pang. It's been a great show.、Uh, been a good show. And,、uh, I'm sorry that、uh, you are, have、uh, you have to go to remedial psychic school now after that your test results came in. You failed miserably,、uh, but hey, you know what? The important thing is that you tried. I tried.、Uh, but we, 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 we had a lot of fun. It's good to see you again.、I'm、glad to see、back. you.、All、Our、right. show is always.、Uh, it's the, the show is not the same without you here. The show is the show with you. And that's the last time I'll ever say anything bordering a compliment to you. Thank you. Everyone,、uh, stay safe.、Uh, don't get COVID, and don't get AIDS either. That's still out there. It's、so、a problem. Know, it's you know what?、Yeah. It's, a, it's a big deal now as ever. Or、uh, and, and avoid HIV as well.、Uh, we'll. We'll be back soon. Check us out on、uh, Facebook,、yep. on Twitter,、yep. on Instagram,、uh, on uh, on YouTube.、Uh, on YouTube. Well, they're watching this on YouTube now, so they would be. Well, kinda... I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, Sam, uh, good to see you again, you、uh, everyone.、Uh, good night. <laughs> <laughs>